Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make over a million credits per hour in Star Citizen. Uh, in order to do that, there are a few things you're going to need beforehand. The first is you need to go into your contracts and you will need to start the salvager contracts. Uh, the first one that you do uh, for salvaging is going to be a 1000 credit where you'll have to pay. You have to go and salvage that ship uh, and then you'll get options to salvage a bigger ship. You need to get up to the 50,000 credits. Once you have 50,000 credit ships available, do not take any, click on your personal tab. On personal, go to salvage and there are two options. There is one at Yella and there is one at Hurston. Pick whichever one you want. I go to Yella because it's less of a distance to travel. Once you do that, take the job. You will have 30 minutes. This is where we are right now. Once you've finished and you've got as many of the jobs as you want, go to your skyline and go to CRUL4. Uh, at L4, you have the ability to go to the gallery, turn left and left again, and then you'll go to the locker room. Inside there, there's a terminal where you can sell your maze. Maze sells for 90,000 credits per container right now. Containium sells in the TDD, which you can do in Crusader. Uh, that sells for 25,000. I would do the maze first because it's illegal and you don't want to get caught. So all you're going to do is you're going to arrive. Uh, we've just arrived at a location now. So this is one of them. Uh, you're going to look for the marker. As you start to travel towards the marker, uh, you can target the ship. There will be an abandoned ship. Now you can salvage this and you'll get about 150,000 for that uh, in the TDD, the recycled material. Uh, you could also take off the weapons, but they're not really worth much at the moment. But all we're interested in is getting in and getting out. You can do one of these missions in three minutes. That is from accepting to finishing in three minutes. That's if you're very efficient. And you're probably going to be more efficient than I am. So with that being said, I'm going to do this uh, slowly just to show you this one. And then you can go from there. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't hit anything. Uh, there is a, a, a concern uh, at the moment until it gets patched. And that is invisible asteroids. So please be careful. Don't hit an invisible asteroid. And also don't get too greedy. Go and bank every 30 minutes or so. Um, it's going to be better for you to do that. All right, so what you're going to want to do is position yourself. There's one of three ships. There's either the Hammerhead, the Starfarer, or the Caterpillar. So whichever ship it is, just make sure you position yourself in the right place. Uh, in this instance, what I'm going to do is position myself sideways on. Quite close. You don't have to be too close, but quite close. Uh, and I'm using a Cutlass Black for this. The reason I'm doing that is so easy with the side doors. And also, there's quite a lot of space in here. So as you can see, I've already got a bit of a bit of loot already so we're going to open it up uh, we're going to see if we can do the run and jump yes we can so we don't get disorientated now this might open sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't if it doesn't it's okay you can just go back through the you can go back through the back um, but if it opens even easier because you can just go through the side now you don't actually know where you're going to go so we'll go in once we're in as long as you don't stack it and fall over like I did uh, we're going to just check, make sure yeah, we can't go any further that way, so that's brilliant. So on this one, we're just going to run through on the inside, and we're looking for boxes. You'll see them as soon as you walk into the room, if they're here. Now, <laughs> I don't know what it is about this one today, but I just keep finding it without boxes. It's quite frustrating, but it is what it is. And this looks like it's going to be the same, no boxes. Worst case, you come in the back door if it doesn't open, and you run back through and do the same thing. So, I don't know what it is about caterpillars. This is the third one I've had during this run with nothing on it. Uh, unfortunately, this happens. Just have to suck it up if there's no cargo. Take the 30k loss and move on. We're not going to waste our time stripping anything on this ship. You can scan the ship, but scanning's a little bit temperamental at the moment. And I, I kind of find it's better just to go and do a visual check. By the time I scan, I can probably be on board. Um, so for that reason, I'm not scanning, but you can scan to see the contents. Contents at the moment are always the same. You're going to get one maze, one widow, one slam. You're going to get um, one quantanium, and then possibly one etam. Um, not always guaranteed, but sometimes there's five. All right. So once you've finished, what you're going to do is press F. Uh, you're going to press F1. Sorry. Uh, you're going to press F1. You're going to go to your contracts. Once you've finished, you're going to go to accepted. Then you're going to abandon that contract, then go to personal, 
and now you'll be able to go to salvage and there should be another one here make sure it's a 30k one you're paying 20k less because you're on a 30 minute timer but the timer doesn't matter because you're going to be in and out of there in a few minutes then we take the contract find out where it is set the route and there we go this is another caterpillar salvage job um, i'm not really liking the caterpillars today they're not really paying out that well but we're going to do it anyway because there is only one and you have to take whatever they give you so we're just going to QT through this asteroid because nothing could possibly go wrong by doing this. And that's it. We're already at our next target. So we're going to head towards the salvage mark. It will disappear. It will then show us where the ship is. Get a target on the ship. And again, the only thing we're being careful of, well, we can't be careful of it, but the only thing we're watching out for is invisible asteroids, which in this patch, 3.19.1. They can be a challenge sometimes not very often but sometimes when you arrive there will be npcs don't fight them you'll get crime stats just leave it's just one of those things you can't deal with you just got to have to leave uh, if you've got someone with you maybe they can distract or they can take the crates um, but you just want to be very careful because what you don't want to do is get a crime stat and then people bounty hunt you while you're trying to do this uh, the amount of time it takes you to clear that crime stat you're better off just losing the 30k and you'll you'll make more um, just by going on to your next job all right so that's it that's everything that you need to do so okay we're at the next one we're gonna again another caterpillar so we're gonna try and do exactly the same things we did before try not to knock it whatever you do uh, if you're a bit worried then just stay stay a bit further away uh, it's gonna be better for you trust me there's nothing worse than the knocking the caterpillar or anything else and it spins out of control and you're trying to get on board uh, it's really difficult to be able to do that so just be careful not to knock it um, but be close enough that you're not going to be throwing boxes halfway across space. The idea here is you want to be able to get close enough to where you're going. And I think I did actually clip that. Looks like I did. It is spinning a little bit, which is unfortunate. Uh, but we're going to try and get in this way, see if we can. Yeah, it looks like it's going to open for us, which is nice. Alright, let's get in. So we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to look through this door. Nothing in there, that's fine. And we're going to come back all the way through the ship. And what we're looking for are these boxes. Again, as I said, these caterpillars, just I don't know what it is today. They're really not paying out that well. Uh, and this looks like the, the second one in a row uh, with nothing on it, which is just very, very unfortunate. But it is what it is. Nothing you can do about that. Again, it's just another hit we're going to take. That's uh, 60k down now. And again, nothing we can really do about that. So... Uh, we're going to try and find our ship over there and we're going to go and do one more hopefully i will be able to show you this but it's good you're seeing the bad side to it as well and you get to see how long i mean this is like a three or four minute job um from start to finish so when you do get a successful run you're going to get one maze one slam one widow and you're going to get one uh, containium Contanium sells for 25,000 at the moment. Widow uh, Maze for 90. I think Widow for 15, I believe. And Slam or slam for 15 and Widow for 10. So that's 110,000 after costs. Which is not uh, a bad five minutes worth of work. It means you can make well over a million an hour. All right. And that's taking into consideration all of these setbacks as well. So we're going to go and do one more, see if it works. This is a staff error. Hopefully it'll be a bit better. Make sure it's at Yella. It's either going to be Yella or it's going to be Hurston. So wherever you are, I'm at Yella because it's closer to go and drop off afterwards. All right, we're going to take one more. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully this one's a bit better. good thing about this as well once you're out is they are all close together so they're all in the same area uh, you're not gonna have to travel too far on the odd occasion you might have to QT uh, around a planet but otherwise it's just from one to the other all right third time's a charm let's hope there's our ship
Okay, Staff Error is quite a simple one. Just jump up behind it underneath. Uh, make sure you're facing the right way. It's just a lot easier to get the, the crates in. It even shows you when you radar lock what way it's facing, so you even know how to get to the back of it. Okay, so when you're approaching, one of the things you want to do is you want to figure out which way is the uh, top and the bottom. It's actually a bit dark at the moment, but okay. So I'm coming in at the right way. You want to try your best to get yourself around here uh, for this one. I then like to go into a person mode. I'm a little bit closer. and kind of position myself just underneath a little bit. Kind of like here. This is a good place to be. From here, just going to exit. I'm not actually sure what side it's on. I think it's this side. Yes, it is. Okay, so jumping out. Trying to get ourselves orientated. The ramp is just here. And hopefully, this can redeem us by giving us five. It looks empty. Wow, okay, right, no more for us today. That's the third one in a row with nothing on board. Uh, we're going to take that as, as it's done. <laughs> Maybe I just need to go and drop these off before it's going to give me any more. I don't know if they're going to patch this. I don't know when we're not going to be able to do it anymore. It looks like we're uh, we're out of luck. That's three in a row. So we're going to take that as a sign to uh, to head back. Uh, obviously, at ninety thousand, we've just lost. It's okay. That's just one maze, but not nice when you're paying out thirty k a contract and you're not getting the stuff from it. And and that's one of the risks. You know, there are a couple of risks that uh, you have to take with this, and that's all accounted for. So, all right. For this, what we're going to do now is head back to uh, CRUL4, go to the Shadowfield station, set our route to that. I did buy the Cuddy Black for this. I also updated, upgraded the Quant Drive, just makes it a lot easier when you're um, traveling, makes it a lot quicker. All right, so here we go. This is 20 million away kilometers away it takes about two and a half minutes to get there with the uh, the, the, the best uh, drive that you can get I did also upgrade the shields and the weapons but that's personal preference you don't need to uh, just the quant drivers will be really interesting because this otherwise is a four to five minute journey in a rented cutlass this is a four to five minute journey now if you don't have the money obviously rent a cutlass it's 30,000 get it for the day do a few runs and you're going to be able to buy one pretty quickly. It'll take you about two hours to be able to save up the money. That'll give you everything you need. Then buy one and it will just save you so much time uh, in the traveling. Uh, but that's it. So you can see we already got a load on board from the jobs we've already done. Unfortunately, those last three um, didn't work out. But we've worked it out that we're making, um, just to say it's two and a half minutes there, two and a half minutes back. So... I'm going to say five minutes. I'm going to double the time because of landing and uh, and taking off. So five minutes each way, that's 10 minutes. And I'm going to allow for five minutes per job. That means if we base that on five minutes per job, that means we can do 10 jobs. Uh, 10 jobs at 30k cost each means we're going to spend 300,000, of which we're going to get 10 maize, which we can sell for 90k each. Uh, and that is going to net us 900k uh, just there alone, just on that one thing. Now, obviously, there's going to be another 10, which are worth 10, uh, another 10, which are worth 25, and another um, 10 that are worth 15. So, in total, that is going to be... Even if you consider maybe losing out on, out of those 10, maybe consider losing out on two of those, so let's just say you get eight as a result, um, you're still going to be nicely in profit. Uh, you're still going to be making somewhere in the region of a million, uh, and that is just for an hour's worth of grinding. It's uh, very laid back, very easy. 
Um, and the hardest part right now is getting back here. So you want to make sure that you can get back to shallow fields. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to QT there. There's a little bit of distance. So whilst we're QTing, uh, I'm actually going to, uh, and I'll show you this. I'm going to set another QT point. Uh, I'm going to do it for L5. The reason I'm going to do it, if I get in trouble, I can QT out. So I do that. I press this. I come to arc 5. I set that as my new route. I come back. I'm here. Now if I need to QT out, I can. But otherwise, we're going to head in. Now make sure you don't go in so fast that you crash. Um, but if we do get caught out, we are going to be able to just like straight nose down and QT out. Uh, I'm going to head off to the side just so I don't come in too hot. One of the worst things you could do here with this load on board is just crash at this stage. Uh, I'll get in, I'll load and I'll, uh, I'll dock and I'll show you where to unload. Um, this is only going to be half of it because the Quantanium, you do have to go to a main planet. I tend to go to Crusader uh, just when I'm in that area. It just makes it easier for me while I'm there. Um, but you do whatever's right for you. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Hello, and thank you for contacting EDL Landing Assist. Alright, so we know we're going to go. Again, it is just good practice to kind of slow it down. I know you can come in a lot faster. You may feel like a confident pilot, and that's cool. If you're good, you're good. I like to take my time on this, just make sure I'm not going to stack it into one of the buildings uh, or something else uh, at this stage. As I said, it uh, wouldn't be the first time that I've crashed on approach. Uh, you'll probably be a lot better at this than me, which means you will get a lot more done in the time that you've got. For me, though, I'm happy just to chill. This is nice and relaxing. I don't have to stress about it. And once you're in here, this is the hardest part. So all you need to do is get yourself landed. Once you're landed, you're pretty much safe. Now we're here, as I mentioned, we're going to go and take the elevator, we're going to go to the gallery level, and we're going to turn left and left again. Um. Okay. Rude. We'll try the other one. No, we won't. Because there isn't another one. Okay, uh, we can't actually get down. Well, you kind of get the idea. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright. There are a few bugs in this game. You do need to be aware of them. There's no reason why they should stop you playing or doing what you need to do. Just stand that it is still in early access. It's one of those things. So we come through security. We're going to go straight frost here. Elevators always the same in here. They've got that kind of uh, lime green kind of look to them. Feel. Okay, to the gallery up. And when you come out, you're going to turn left. And then you're going to turn left again. Into the locker room. This is the only terminal in the system where you can sell maze for this much money. Choose your ship. Here we go. We've got five maize, and that is going to go for 450,000. That's the main one we want to sell. That's going to make us all of our money back. And then the other things. Uh, the ETAM, if you're lucky, you'll get five. If you do get five, you'll get this. As I said, it sells for 10,000. Sell it here as well. You're going to get yourself your slam. Uh, slam sells for 15,000. So that's another 76k there. Almost up to 3 mil now. And Widow as well. So we're going to be able to sell that another 50k there. I've also got 5 Quantanium. Quantanium at the moment sells for 25,000 each. So there's another 125,000 
uh, just there, which actually would take me up to the well over the three mil mark. So uh, we're not going to sell that just yet because I like to save it up, take it to the planet all at once. This was the main concern because now if we do get stopped by the police, we don't have anything illegal on us. Um, so we can go and refuel and go back out again. So just to do that, to make sure you're covering your costs and uh, you're playing it safe, um, banking some profit. Um, and then I, I stack up the containium and when I have about 10 or 20 containium, uh, then I, I, I tend to go to a planet as well. Uh, and that's it. That's all you need to know to be able to make over a million an hour taking these salvage runs and uh, enjoy it until they patch it.